Currently, I'm working at, in a consulting company and an engineering company called Kovi. Uh, Kovi is a multidisciplinary <laughs> company that offers a lot of uh, different tasks. It is within constructions, it can be within indoor climate, environmental, uh, indoor climate, friendly buildings, energy efficiency, and uh, also infrastructure. Uh, so it is an interesting company to be in because of, it gives you a lot of dimensions of how a building interacts with the environment. Actually, I found it very exciting to start after the university, uh, Aalborg University, because of I have learned a lot of uh, technical stuff, <laughs> a lot of uh, I have done a lot of experiments, and I have been co cooperating with the other students. And after this, it was uh, exciting to to create it in uh, the real world scale, one to one, and interact with the other partners in a building. Uh, in the building process. My task from day to day differs a lot. Uh, uh, a lot of days I do detailed calculations of the building performance in accordance to the indoor climate and energy efficiency of buildings. In these connections I, for example, do energy calculations, uh, thermal indoor climate calculation, uh, can also be air quality calculations that are especially important here where we are standing, Moscow Museum. Other days it can also be, of course, uh, interaction, just uh, meetings, speaking with other people uh, in the project. Here it is, for example, Moscow Museum, the building owner. It can also be the entrepreneur, uh, the architect. Uh, at the moment, I'm uh, primarily working with office buildings and school buildings. Uh, here it can also be special buildings like courthouses and museums buildings. And uh, I find it interesting when the usage uh, differ because of uh, a good indoor environment handling, uh, handling about or is handling about how the building uh, is going to be used. In order to create a sustainable building, you need to be aware of the usage of the building and what's the flexibility in the future, how to design all installations so the building is going to perform as you want to in a longer term. Mm. The museum here is, a, uh, is called Moscow Museum. It is placed outside Aarhus and uh, it is 15,000 square meters. Uh, the building uh, has many functions as it needs to be open for the public as well as uh, the people who are going to, to, to see the museum inside. Um, the building is uh, very sustainable. The building fulfills the, the requirements for a low energy class. And it uh, primarily utilizes, or it only utilizes natural driving forces, such as the wind, temperature differences between inside and outside, as well as daylight coming from outside and also solar heat gain and all those dimensions are very important for this museum to take into account. I think the best thing for my work is that I get the opportunity to cooperate with other people and uh, at Aalborg University I learned a lot about that because of our program is also based on, based on um, social interactions and also uh, cooperation between the students in the project work. And I think that is a very exciting uh, in my study time, but also now when I'm con a consultant. Uh, in the projects here, for example, Moscow Museum, we have a building owner, Moscow Museum. We also have an architect and uh, an engineering company as uh, Kobe and um, also an entrepreneur. And uh, in this connection, we are cooperating a lot from the early design phase, where we ensure the, uh, the building's performance and the energy consumption is, is fine, to the end, where we ensure uh, the building are performing as, or is performing as it's supposed to, to do. After university, I didn't find it difficult to get a job because at, of, at the university, I've learned uh, a lot and uh, in detail and from this I have a platform that I can build upon. 
also the the knowledge you can use in different uh, cons firm companies. You can be a specialized a specialist at a, a consulting company, for example. You can be a product developer. You can also be a, a project leader in a consulting company or in the entrepreneur's uh, company. And uh, from that uh, point, I don't think it is difficult. It is either difficult because we have learned how to cooperate with other people, and as well as the technical uh, knowledge, it is important that you are able to cooperate and understand other people.